Hey guys, it's almost been two weeks since my last surgery, the eye surgery, and I can I can happily say that it went successful and my eyes healing up really nicely. And um, this is my how it looks at the moment. Don't know if you can see that from there. So it's healing up quite nicely. They're taking the stitches out today. So um, I've been able to wash it, and I've, yeah, I've got the hair because my hair's a complete mess, and they've been able to cut it for a while. So um, yeah, I'm happy now because. Uh, there's only a few things that's bothering me. Uh, lately, like uh, last week, no, um, four, three or four days ago, I had these like um, really high temperature and low temperature. I was uh, really hot inside. No, I was really hot outside, and I was really cold inside, and I was shivering. I couldn't stop, sh couldn't stop shivering. Um, so I knew I had a temperature, and every time the temperature, every time I was shivering, all the chills, every chill I had, um, I had pains. On the top of my head. I've still got the pains there now, I don't know why they're there, so that's my main concern at the moment. So um, I told, I asked my surgeon why, um, where the pain's coming from, and he doesn't seem to know, so he's uh, he's told me to wait until next week until I have my, um, my shunt assessment. So yeah, I'm going to have to wait till then to see, uh, to see how you know if it's bad or if it's good, but I'm hoping it's good. Um, I don't feel I don't feel bad. I feel good. I feel alright. Um, I've been walking all day, so I've been you know I've been really busy, and uh, I don't think if it was serious, I think it'll be a lot worse. Um, all I'm getting is a few pains here and there when I've got when I'm really cold, but at the moment it's um it's normal pretty much. So yeah, I'm happy with the eye surgery. It's gonna take a while for the swelling to go down. So um, but the surgeon said that he is impressed, and he said that it's it's a uh, it's a work in progress, so um, it's got to play the waiting game and wait for it to fully heal. Um, but yeah, I've got to go back there to see him in like um, next month, no, next week. So I've got, I've got to go to two places next week. Uh, yeah, after that, it should be it for a while. So I'm, I'm just going to tell him that oh, I don't want any more surgery because I've, I've done the surgery now. I mean, it's been close to like nearly 50 operations, so I don't want to go over that mark. Um, I've been through more hell, you know, so I just don't want to go through it anymore. I don't need to now, so there's no point. Um, yeah, so I've given it up, and uh, I think I should start living my life, start enjoying it. So uh, I've been, you know, too busy coping, too busy fearing uh, what's going to happen next in the hospital, and uh, so I've decided to stop and start living, and get out there more. So I want to thank you guys for your support and. Uh, I will keep you updated on any other things and I'll be making more videos discussing Cruzon Syndrome and I've still got work, my whole project to work on. My um my forty like forty to forty five minute um programme which I'm gonna to put together to choose me and my camera. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of work, a lot of place to go. So um anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll keep you updated about whatever happens. And hope you're all well. Take care.